Brooke here. Uh, this video today is giving you an overview of the electrical conduction system of the heart. So let's get started. All right, the electrical conduction system of the heart. First off, we're gonna start talking about autorhythmic fibers. So auto just means self, why rhythmic means rhythm. And so autorhythmic really means self-rhythm. And what this means is that these fibers or cells are self-excitable. Self-excitable cells, um, as the autorhythmic fibers are, they are able to create their own action potentials to trigger heart contractions um, of the, the um, heart muscle. So these autorhythmic fibers act as a pacemaker to form the cardiac conduction system. So the cardiac conduction system just makes sure that all four chambers of the heart are stimulated to contract in a coordinated manner, meaning that they make everything as effective and efficient as it could be to allow for um, the maximum like amount of pumping able to do. Okay, so first we're gonna walk through it all. Um, so we're gonna start off with the SA node. So the SA node is located in the right atrial wall and the SA node cells don't have a stable resting potential. Um, so this means that they repeatedly depolarize to threshold just spontaneously. So of their own accord, nothing makes them um, nothing has to make them uh, reach threshold. They're able to do it themselves. So spontaneous depolarization is called pacemaker potential. So the SA node or the sinoatrial node is also known as the pacemaker. Um, and I'm gonna show you this nice little graph really quickly. So pacemaker potential is in green and you can see it reaches a threshold and then automatically um, goes through the action potential. So um, that the pacemaker potential can trigger an action potential. And each action potential from the SA node propagates through both of the atria um, using gap junctions in the intercalated discs of the atrial muscle fibers. Um, so after the action potential, um, the two atria are able to contract at the same time, all from generation of action potentials from the SA node. Okay, so SA node goes through the atria. All right, next, this action potential reaches the AV node or the atrioventricular node. This is, this node is located with, um, in the interatrial septum. So interatrial means between the atria. Um, and this, uh, at the AV node, the action potential actually slows considerably um, as a result uh, from different structures in the cell, like cell structures in the AV node. And this delay that comes from the AV node provides time for both of the atria to empty their blood into the ventricles. So you kind of have um, a little delay to allow for all the blood in the atria to squirt into the ventricles. That's how I like to think of it. Okay, and from the AV node, the action potential moves to the atrioventricular bundle, also known as the bundle of Hiss. This bundle is the only site where action potentials can conduct from the atria to the ventricles. Um, so it's very important. Okay, and then from the bundle of Hiss, the action potential propagates um, to the left and right bundle branches. Okay, left and right bundle branches. The bundle branches, both of them, extend through the interventricular septum towards the apex of the heart. So it's moving towards the apex of the heart or the action potential is propagating that way. All right, and last but not least, there are Purkinje fibers that um, conduct the action potential at, at the apex 
of the heart upward towards the um, rest of the ventricular myocardium. This leads to ventricular contraction, which pushes the blood upward toward the semilunar valves. Okay, so that was a lot, but I want to simplify it. I also made, um, well, this is just a picture without the arrows on it, and I made a nice little diagram of um, what happens in order, the sequence. So we have the SA node or the pacemaker cells, propagates the action potential down to the AV node, which moves down through the AV bundle or the bundle of Hiss, through the right and left bundle branches, and lastly, at the Purkinje fibers. So this sequence of electroconduction of the heart is important for you guys to know. All right, that's all I have. Thank you.